What is up guys, it's Jack here back again today with a brand new video for you guys. I got a little quick one for you guys today. I see you guys have been commenting a lot on my other video for my monitor that I just did recently on what settings I use for it. So I'm going to show you guys today just in a quick little video what settings I use and how to get rid of like black bars or any just issues that you guys would have on your monitor. So let's hop right into this video. Alright, so the first mode we'll be hopping into is the game visual mode, which contains scenery mode, racing mode, cinema mode, RTS slash RPG mode, FPS mode, sRGB mode, and user mode. The one I tend to stay on is racing mode because I feel like that one closely resembles the actual color on a monitor, so that's the one that I use for the setting. Alright, so the next setting we'll be moving on to is the blue light filter. So I keep mine at level 0 because I feel like every other setting on here just makes the screen look more yellow or more blue, which just looks even more weird, but that's all I keep it at, it's just a 0. So now we're moving on to color, so this has a little bit more settings in it. So we're going to mix up with the brightness, contrast, color temperature, and smart view. So for the brightness, I tend to keep that around 75 to 80, contrast is from 65 to 70, Color temp, I just use uh, the user mode and I keep everything at 100 so that I get the most accurate color possible. In smart view, I just turn off because I just really don't need smart viewing to begin with. Now the last setting we'll be using on this thing is the image settings. So the first one that you're going to be hopping into is trace free and I just keep that at 100. It makes things look more crisp and doesn't make things look too weird at all on the monitor. The aspect control, this is where people might be running into problems with black bars in your screen. Make sure it's on full aspect ratio. You want it to be 16 by 9. That's what the monitor should be performing at. So if you guys have problems with that, that's where you'll probably find that one. And the adaptive sync, I just keep that on as well so that it can sync with my second monitor as well if you're using this for a dual monitor setup by any means. All right, that is all I have for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you guys do smash that like button if you guys did enjoy this video. And I'll make sure to keep you guys tuned in within these next couple of weeks. I will be moving into college sometime soon here. So don't be expecting too many videos within these next couple of weeks. I'll be just be doing stuff for that. But anyways, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.